The third trailer of Resident Evil 4 Remake just got dropped and it looks insanely good. In this trailer, they showed a lot of things, they added so much and changed so little. And that's why, in today's video, we're going to talk about all the things that we may have missed the first time watching this trailer. And trust me, there is a lot. So let's not waste any time and dive right into this. Firstly, we can hear Sadler talking about how we are all connected and Ashley accepting the lost Plagas in her body. We even can see Ashley laying on what seems to be a ceremonial stone. In the next scene, we can see a zealot in red and lost Plagas popped out of his head. And right next to him, we can see two other zealots in black praying to him. This shows how deep they are going for the story this time around. Because in the original, Gelados thought that Las Plagas popping out of your head is a last level of purification, which is a good thing. Seeing these two zealots praying beside him adds more depth to the details that only a diehard fan of Resident Evil would know. And now in this next shot, we got our first look at the underground segment. And I have to say, this time around, it looks a lot tighter and scarier. Speaking of scary, look at this shot of Plaga Type C and how terrifying it is. If we look at the colors, we can see that Lost Plagas this time is black instead of that fleshy color we got in the original. And I predicted that in my old video that I put it in my channel a couple months ago. But the other thing that got my attention is the HUD. In it, we can see a tactical vest icon, meaning that we can buy and use vests for more protection. But this time, we don't need to wait till the island segment for it. The other thing that I noticed is this icon in the ammo capacity. I think this is an extra bullet that is in the chamber of Leon's pistol. And it happens when you reload at the safe room or give it to the merchant for an upgrade that gives us one extra bullet. In this next scene, we can have a better look at Ashley laying on a ceremonial stone. And we can see Sadler, Leon and these two maidens that we saw one of them in the last trailer. In the next shot, we can see Ashley in control of Las Plagas. After that, we have our first look at my favorite part of this trailer, the elevator, and our first look at Zelot's enemy. And I have to say, I'm in love with this new design. Their tattoos, look, and skinny bodies make them a nightmare feel. Here we got our first look at Plagotype B, and I think it's scarier than the original. But this time, you can parry it with your knife. Next, we have our first look at the canon part of the castle, and in my opinion, is very similar to the original, and that's what we want from the game. Don't cut anything when you can make them better. The other thing that we can see is that blue medallions are present in this segment as well, and just like the developers said, we get to do this mini game in different areas with different rewards. Next, we see Leon and Luis talking, and it appears that Leon is suffering from the infection while Luis is holding the antidote. In this next scene, we have my favorite part of the original game, the two El Gigante fight. But this time around, in the remake, we have Luis to assist us, and I love the new direction they are taking with Luis Serra. Seeing and interacting with him more give us more depth to his character. The other thing from this scene is that the armor El Gigante has a tiny detail that I noticed and I will talk about it in my next video. So please consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss my next videos. And next we have another chainsaw person and it seems it's one of the Bella sisters but it's not like the classic. In the original we face Bella sisters in the village but this scene is very similar to the minecart segment and I think this is the person who we fought alongside Dr. Salvador in the original. And in this scene we have our first look at Krauser and this time there is no quick time events. Instead it's pure action and I love this and can't wait to experience it in the main game myself. And speaking of action, let's look at this suplex move in slow motion. I hope they allow us to do the same with Ashley, just like the original. And after that, we can see Ashley alone in her own segment, and one of those armored enemies is looking for her. We can see the sword and Plaga popping out of his armor. And seeing that gives me hope that maybe they didn't remove the giant Salazar statue and might still see it in the final game. 
In this next scene, we have our first look at Mike, the helicopter that saved us in the island segment in the original. And if we zoom in, we can see the island enemies are the same as original. And if we look closely, we even can see a stun rod in one of the Gnados. And here we can see that Leon is using an MP5, which is a new gun added to the remake. Then we have the minecart segment, which gone through some changes. This time, we are with Luis Serra and not alone. We even can see Dr. Salvador on one of the minecarts following us. And then we have a close-up shot of Sadler and he looks pretty mutated. And after that, we have this. And honestly, I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's a Novisador nest, but I'm not sure about it. And after that, we had our first look at Grados, which they didn't change a single thing about his design. And I am happy about it. Why change it when it doesn't need to change? After that, we can see Leon using the riot shotgun and even in the back, we can see a breakable vase that is a reused aspect from Resident Evil Village, the castle segment. And here we have our first look at the Novisa doors and I have to be honest, they look a lot more scarier than the original. And the next scene I have to point out is in the end of the trailer and in it, we have our first look at the lab segment. And in the background, we can hear the regenerator's music from the original. And lastly, mercenaries are back and I can't wait to play with Hunk again. One last thing that I forgot to mention is this shot over here. In it we can see a crystallized stone, but in this stone we can see Las Plagas fossilized and that gives me a hint on how Salazar family restored the Las Plagas from beneath his castle. They found the Las Plagas fossilized and brought it back to life. And that's about it. All the things that we might have missed our first time watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Arshia and this is Red Herb. Thank you guys for watching.